Here's an SAT math tip that you can use to avoid making simple mistakes and also save time. So to illustrate this, I'm going to use question number four. It says, what is the solution to negative three times the quantity x minus five is equal to negative two x plus four? So the first thing we want to do here is to go ahead and distribute our negative three to our x and then also to our negative five. When we do that, we're going to be left with negative three x and then negative three times negative five will give us plus 15 is equal to negative two x plus four. Now from here, this is where the tip comes in. We want to keep x positive. So the reason here that we're going to add 3x to each side is because then we are going to get x alone. And it's also going to stay positive. And you always want to keep x positive if you can. And then after that, all we got to do is subtract 4 from each side. And that's going to leave us with x equals 11. So we know our answer is going to be a. The reason this is going to save you time is because when you keep x positive at the end, you don't have to divide by a negative number to get rid of your negative.